This is a new film, independent film, low budget. Uh, I don't know the actor. I think he's an actor-director as well. I think he might have directed it as well. Very little is known about it other than it's causing quite a stamp, uh, quite a, a rumpus on the festival circuit. It's already won a couple of awards. But I do know it revolves around some severe mental health issues. Okay. Honey, honey, I, I'm really not going to be good at this kind of stuff. Yeah. You want me to leave the light on in the hallway for you? It's fine. All right, I'm going to bed, honey. Good night, I love you. Yeah, it's fine. I don't care. It's fine, I'll work here anyway. You want me to talk? Yeah, I'll talk. You don't want me to talk, I got dirt on all of y'all! I'll start myself, my wife left me a year and a half ago. There, laugh it up. I saw two back car! Three weeks! Jerry saw it! Isn't that right, Jerry? Yeah, I brought you breakfast. Thank you so much for doing that, Jerry. That ain't been a lot back then. You're drunk! I'm not drunk, I'm angry, I realize that. I'll call No, I'll calm down! I lost my daughter today! For what? So I can impress you when I gave up my family! And the rest of it! Wait, you want my pants too? Fine! You can keep them, I don't care. You can't hurt me! You think you're hurting me? I found out she lost her boyfriend in Vietnam! I never asked her about it! What? I never made it time! I was selfish! This is what you get! such a good trailer. It's the right, he's the writer, director and actor in it. Wow. Um, a policeman on the verge of a nervous breakdown introduces a major new talent. Wow. What did you think of the trailer? What did you think? I thought it was a really good trailer. Yeah. I loved um, his um, monologue over yes. his other stuff that was happening. But almost what was more chilling for me was seeing the look of shock and upset and distress in his colleagues. And yeah, friends. that was that was very powerful. They're very powerful because they, they managed to deliver that thing of not just often in these films you just get the people thinking you're a nutcase or you're unsympathetic, but you could see them. The hot, slow realization of the horror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and, they, I mean, is there anything more frightening than watching somebody lose their mind? I mean, I've seen somebody in a completely schizophrenic mm. state, and without a doubt, it it was the most frightening. It's the most frightening thing you can imagine, and I felt that. When I looked at them looking at him, I felt what I'd felt having seen somebody in a complete... Because what can you do? What can you do when somebody's lost their mind? What, what can you... Obviously, he was unarmed. The fact that There's nobody was going to... over to him, there's yeah. still that danger, danger. to him, that yeah. danger. Stripped bare, but he's lost his mind, so anything is possible. And you've got mm. six cops standing back, not going anywhere near mm. him. And then that bit at the end where he's just spitting because he doesn't know what else to do. Oh, that was but that broke my heart. That bit at the end. Mm. I think this is going to be a very tough watch. It comes from a short film, which was mainly one shot that appears in this film of him going over to a boombox. You worry he's going to smash it to pieces with his bare hands, and instead he does an interpretive dance without music. He'll offer comments, but mostly it's him silently doing jazz fingers, wow. sweeping arms, and Broadway chorus line moves. It lasts for an unbroken 12 minutes. Wow. Oh, oh my God. Wow. And apparently that makes up the short film, that, uh, the uh, Kudos at Sundance in 2016. So that shows you. Mm. Short film, almost one shot, delivered so brilliantly, and, and then, and then it's gravitated oh, to a movie. Wow, God, that's so I inspiring love that story. for filmmakers. So, that be you one day. So download it. It's on iTunes, I think. I think it's going to get a limited release as well, yeah. Jim Cummings is his name.